Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today we are going to be kicking off a little burger series. I am going to be recreating some of Shake Shack's very special limited edition hamburgers right now with the Amelia Burger. So not long ago I was watching one of my favorite shows on YouTube. It's called The Burger Show. It's put on by First We Feast, a huge channel, and Chef Alvin Kalen and Casey Neistead went to Shake Shack's Innovation Kitchen where they were served up three very special limited edition hamburgers and it just completely pushed the inspiration button in me. I had to make these burgers, so that's the inspiration for this series. So out of those three burgers, the Amelia Burger was the one that really got those juices flowing, the inspiration. It was created by one of the finest chefs in the world. He's an Italian chef named Massimo Bottura. He owns a restaurant in Italy called Osteria Francescana. It was voted number one out of the world's top 50 restaurants, so I have to do this hamburger. Anyway, let's get going. We're going to start off with a salsa verde. Now, this is an Italian salsa verde. So we're going to kick this off with, this is three quarters of a cup of packed chopped Italian parsley. Three and a half tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. One clove minced garlic. Three quarters of a teaspoon sea salt. We may add a little bit more depending on the taste. This is a half teaspoon black pepper, half teaspoon crushed red pepper, and a half teaspoon of packed lemon zest. One tablespoon of drained capers. Two anchovy fillets. And I'm going to just add a little bit right now of some extra virgin olive oil just to kind of get it all bound together here. Let's get it pulsed around a little bit before we really start mixing it. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of that extra virgin olive oil. It's starting to look pretty good. Just want to get it ground up a little bit more. All right, it's looking good. I love the color. It's very bright, very bright. It's uh, kind of multi-levels of flavor. Um, then you get that little bit of heat from the black pepper and that red crushed paper. It's good, good stuff. All right, we're going to move on to the next condiment, I guess we'll call it, which is going to be a balsamic mayo. So for this mayo, I simply have about a half cup or so of some, some really good, some high quality uh, mayo. I didn't want to make homemade mayo. I thought that would overcomplicate the recipe. And I'm using Chef Butura's balsamic vinegar. This stuff is Villa Menadori. Ordered this online. And uh, this is the first time I've had this stuff, but based on the price, I'm guessing it's amazing. And I'm just going to add as much as I think I need, if that makes any sense. Just, you know, drizzling it in, I'm going to go off of the color and the flavor. And that's the color I'm looking for, that just kind of a light beige. Let's try this stuff out. Wow. Yeah, it tastes amazing. All right, now we're going to move on to the next step, which is actually the part that I'm most excited about, and that's the grind. Let's get going. All right, as you soon will see, the, the grind for this burger, the meat for this burger is just something very special. We're going to kick this off, however, with what I'm going to call just Shake Shack's normal blend. And I'm going with 50% sirloin, 25% short rib, and 25% brisket. And, and I went with the fatty sections of the short rib and the brisket. Let's get going here. So 
So the next thing we are going to add is Italian Cotechino sausage. Now the chef was talking about a jelly quality that this gave the burger. And I noticed that when I took it out of the package, I ordered this, it actually, it's an Italian product from Italy. It has aspic around, uh, around the sausage. So I left it there. So I thought it'll add a nice component. We'll get this going. <laughs> Now this is a little over one pound. It was 1.12 pounds of the traditional meats. And then I added eight ounces of that sausage. Now we're going on to the next part, which again, I think is amazing. Okay, I have here one cup of shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. We're going to blend this into the meat. And I'm just going to do this with my bare hands. Okay, I have the meat all nice and blended up so that meat and cheese, everything's blended together very evenly now. And what I'm going to do is run it through the grinder one more time. All right, this definitely looks different than any hamburger meat I've ever cooked. What I'm going to do now is put this in the fridge, let it chill out a little bit. It's been through this machine. There is you no know, heat being generated in a meat grinder, so let this set in the fridge just a bit. Meantime, I'm gonna go out and get the grill ready. Meet you guys outside. Okay, I'm going to be doing this cook on my Lone Star Grill's griddle feature. And we are gonna be toasting up some buns. First, these are Martin's potato buns, the very buns that they use at Shake Shack. And I ordered these. First thing I'm gonna do is just add some melted butter. These buns are extremely soft and this will add a nice toast, nice crunch. there we go, that's gorgeous. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, now for the meat, we have here 3.3 ounces of that meat blend that we ground up. Go ahead and place spatula on top. Smash that baby down. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And you can see we're waiting for these bubbles to form, these holes to form and the juices to come out. That's looking good. I'll take this scraper here. Oh my God, look at that. You see that Parmigiano Reggiano just kind of leaked through there, spreading its goodness. All right, let's make a burger. All right, the first thing we are going to do is lay down some of that balsamic mayo down here. Again, this stuff just smells incredible. I'll go ahead and lay down that umami packed burger, salsa verde, that Italian salsa verde. Look at that. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. And you cannot imagine the smells right now, especially with that Parmesan just kind of permeating the air. Good stuff. Uh, look at that. Let's try this out. Just such a crispy crust. So one thing I can definitely say is this is unlike any traditional American burger I've ever had in my life. Very Euro. So the first thing that hits you is the first thing that hits you on any Shake Shack burger, which is that just such a soft bun that the potato rolls they use, those Martin rolls are just so, so good. And then all of a sudden you get hit with that really bright, you know, citrusy, little bit of heat, that salsa. And then all of a sudden it gets mellowed out a little bit with that mayo, but then there's that acid in the mayo, that really sweet balsamic. So it's so many flavors. You have that, you know, that savory umami from the cheese and the different meats and everything. And 
the sweetness of the balsamic, the acid of the balsamic, the, again, savoriness and the creaminess of that mayo. I mean, it's just hitting you. It's bombarding you from all angles. Bravo, killer burger. Um, again, I'm, I'm glad that I saw that, the Burger Show series. I'll, I'll have a link for it. Not that they need any views, but it's, it's an amazing series. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, I have three more burgers on, on my hit list that I'm going to cook up for you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Keep those suggestions coming in. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.